What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and this one we have an SGC submission reveal. Now I know there hasn't been a ton of SGC content on the channel lately, uh, but we do have a submission that just came back. So I wanna show these results. And while we're talking about SGC, uh, I do wanna mention, I'm not going to completely discontinue SGC service, services, but I am going to pause them for the time being. Uh, it is post-national, so I kind of wanted to wait and see if maybe they come out with an announcement uh, decreasing prices because with the, the pricing so similar right now to PSA, um, the, the quantity on the last couple of submissions has been super, super low, almost to the point where it's not even really worth it for me uh, after shipping to and from SGC. So as of right now, I am going to pause SGC submissions. I won't be taking any more for the time being unless SGC does come out with an announcement, uh, you know, decreasing price because again, with pricing so similar to PSA, people are just willing to wait, uh, you know, the extra couple weeks to a month for PSA and get their cards back uh, with higher value. You know, PSA does command a premium on the market and people are just willing to wait a little bit longer for PSA. Uh, it's unfortunate, I love SGC, I love the slabs. I think the grading scale is the most fair on the market. Um, and then, uh, you know, turnaround times are incredible, but PSA does just command a premium and people are willing to wait for it. Uh, and, and, you know, like I said, the last couple of submissions have, have been super, super low. Now this one was okay. This one was around 50 cards, but one customer in the order sent in 30 cards. So without that one customer, this is gonna be like a 20 card submission, uh, which I think the one prior to this one was like 20 to 30. And again, it's just not really worth it for me after shipping to and from uh, to be sending like 20, 30 cards. So unfortunately, I am going to pause SGC submissions. Uh, and if anything changes, I will definitely you know post on YouTube, Instagram, all that. Uh, but as of right now, SGC submissions are paused, but let's go ahead and get into this submission. There's actually some really, really cool cards in here. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I am recording this video on Wednesday the 2nd. If you are local, I know there's like three or four locals in this submission. I will be heading to Louisville Sports Cards this afternoon. So potentially by the time you guys even see this video, they might already be at the shop. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we have Brad. These first two stacks are all his. Uh, he did send in, again, like right around 30 cards. Uh, Randy DeJesus, uh, Bowman Auto, 1010. And there's some really good ones in here. There's some, some really nice cards. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, that one got a seven. Uh, we have a, a D. Wade, Topps Rookie, that one got an eight five. Next up, we do have an Allen Iverson, Coast to Coast, seven. Uh, and I will say some of these, the older ones, like 90s inserts and stuff, it's just a lot tougher for me to, to kind of gauge what it's gonna get. I thought these looked pretty good. Uh, and you know, to see like sevens, eights, eight fives, um, it, it's just a lot tougher for me personally than modern. Uh, but anyway, next up we have a Cade Cunningham, uh, Ruby Wave, that one did get a nine. And then we do have a Palo uh, Purple Hoops, nine five. And uh, let's see, Ty Ty Washington on the Hoops Auto. That one did get a 10, so nice one there. Moving in the right direction uh, and, <laughs> until we do back to 8.5. Uh, Franz Vodder, I'm not sure what happened on this one. Uh, centering is pretty good on that. And uh, yeah, corners, edges. I don't, I don't know what happened on that one, but that one got an 8.5. Uh, Lamelo Ball, Fearless, Fast Break. That one got a 9.5. Uh, really nice one here, Tua, Blue, Die Cut. Uh, that one got a 9.5. I thought that one actually might be numbered, but I guess the blues are not numbered. Uh, next up, Jordan Love. Really nice one here. Contenders RPA. That one got a 9.5.10. Uh, is that one numbered? I don't think that one's numbered either. I guess uh, that one might potentially be out of retail. I'm not 100% sure there, but really nice one there. And then we have a Justin Fields, the Acetate out of uh, Clear Vision. That one got a 9.5. Uh, we did get an 8.5 on the Jalen Hurts pink camo. Uh, and then we did get an 8 on the Brock Purdy Donruss base. And I promise there are some good ones in here. The grades are going to get a lot better. Uh, right here we got a Desmond Ritter Donruss base 10. We have a Kenny Pickett Donruss base 10. So now we're moving in the right direction here. Sam Howell Donruss base 10. Let's go ahead and move that stack off to the side. And now we're getting into some better stuff. We have Sam Howell, Prism Red, White, and Blue. That one also got the 10. 
Brock Purdy, red, white, and blue. That one got a 9.5. Brock Purdy, prism base. That one got a 10. Uh, we got a 10 on the Jalen Hurts Mosaic debut. Uh, green. And then we have a Kyle Trask, uh, purple shock. That one got a 9.5. Those are always tough with those little print lines. Now, a really, really nice one here. This is probably my favorite card of the submission. And this one just looks so, so good in an SGC slab. This is the Kenny Pickett Light It Up Black Pandora, number to 25. And it did get a 10. And with that black border SGC slab, that one looks so, so good. Uh, number 23 of 25, which another thing I really like about the SGC labels is they do actually put the numbering on there. So uh, SGC, you know, they're just doing really, really good things. Unfortunately, the majority of what I'm getting right now is just PSA submissions. Um, and you know, again, they command that premium. So it's really hard to, hard to blame people. Uh, Justin Fields, um, mosaic green tin. We have a Desmond Ritter mosaic base nine. Jalen Hurts select silver tin. We have a Sam Howell purple shock tin. That's a nice one. Again, those shocks are always tough. The acetates are tough too. So this is a pretty good one here. Uh, we got a Desmond Ritter uh, that one's out of Illusions, numbered to 199, and that one did get a 10. Again, has that like acetate look to it, which are always tough. And then really nice one here on the light blue prism, Sam Howell 10. Another Sam Howell 10. This one is the Optic Orange. That one's going to be numbered to 199. So really good grades on the Sam Howells in this submission. And then we have a Kyle Trask. That one did get a 10 out of Rookies and Stars. Final card of the submission. How about another die cut that got a 10? That one is a Joe, Burry, J Joe Burrow rookie SGC 10 on the Crown Royale die cut. A really nice one there. And that does it for, again, that, those were all one customer sent in over 30 cards. And the rest of the submission is right here. So you guys can kind of see why I got to put them on pause. I'm just not getting a lot of SGC cards. So uh, next up, we have a Devonta Smith Contenders Optic Auto. That one got a nine. Uh, nice one here though, AJ Brown 1010 on the Classics Auto. Next up, we have Jake. Uh, he always sends in these Panini Black Friday cards. And this set looks incredible. He is, I think he's probably the only person uh, that has ever sent these in for grading, to me, per, to me at least. And the set is just incredible. The cards look amazing. And they always, always get like nine fives or tens. So we got a messy number to 25, uh, again, out of the uh, Black Friday packs. Let me put that back on there. And then we have a Marshall Falk. That one is gonna be numbered to 10. So again, I mean, the cards just look absolutely incredible. Another set that looks really good with the SGC black slab uh, because these are all like really, really dark. Earl Campbell Auto, 10. And how about another 10? Now this one, I, I really, really like this one with like the black picture, but then the trophy pops in gold. Super, super cool card, Magic Johnson, 10. So four, four for four there, all 10s. Next up we have Ed Scorn with a Jordan Lawler, 10, 10. We have Tyler Hardman, 9, 10. Uh, Colson Montgomery, 10, 10. And we have a Brooks Lee, 10, 10 out of Bowman's Best. And next up we have Darnell sent in, I think he sent in pretty much straight Star Wars stuff. Uh, the Mandalorian, 9, 5. We have the Grand Inquisitor Auto, that one got a 10, 10. Um, Hera Sindula, 10, 10. So these are actually graded really well too. Uh, Sinara San, and I, I have no clue. I've never watched Star Wars. I don't know who these characters are, so forgive me on these names. Uh, looks like that one is uh, Tech. That one got a nine. We have uh, Jin Urso, 10. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I, I do know, do recognize that name. Uh, we have Mando and Grogu, uh, 10 there. We have a Trooper's Ambush, the Tunnel Exit. That one got a 9.5. Next up, Boba Fett. That one got a 10. And final card of the submission. So that was straight Star Wars there. Uh, Loden Great Storm. That one got a 10. So overall, very, very good grades in the submission. I know we started out a little slow with some 8s, 9s, stuff like that. But it picked up really, really nicely. Really good grades. Really cool cards. So... 
That is gonna do it for this one. Again, I am pausing SGC submissions for the time being, hoping they come out with an announcement decreasing pricing a little bit. If that is the case, uh, then I will you know, pick back up. I'll make announcements here on Instagram and everything like that. So anyway, just wanted to mention that real quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, also, I should have a PSA submission coming back, I believe today. So potentially another PSA reveal video tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you soon.